Okay, so now that you know the basics of Twitter, we're going to talk a little bit about Twitter chats. So tweet chats are a way to have a live conversation through Twitter by using the same hashtag. A hashtag is a way to aggregate a conversation. So if everyone is using the same conversation, all the tweets using that hashtag are put into one place so you can read them all at the same time. So the hashtag that we're going to use for this course is hashtag EXC4020. Now I'm going to show you a tool uh, that I highly encourage you to use for this class. But before we do that, uh, I learned something when I was setting this up that I want to share with you. So when you are in your Twitter account, you need to make sure that you have basically a profile description. So if you come up to the top and you click on your picture, your profile, say view profile, you want to edit your profile and make sure that you have text entered in here. It's very brief, something that describes yourself. If you don't have a profile, Twitter basically views you as a spammer and your tweets won't show up. So it's really important that you make sure you fill out your profile in your Twitter account. So I'm going to show you a tool called Tweet Chat. So to get to Tweet Chat, you just go www.tweetchat.com. Um, you're more than welcome to use Twitter or your mobile device for our tweet chats. Um, however, if you do that, you're going to have to make sure you enter in your hashtag. If you use tweet chat, the hashtag is already there for you, and it just makes things a little bit easier. So I'm going to kind of show you how tweet chat works, um, and we'll get started. So the first thing you're going to do is you enter in your hashtag. So for this course, you're going to put in hashtag EXC4020. And then you hit go. So once you hit go, this screen is going to come up. If you're already logged into Twitter, if you're not logged into Twitter, it's going to ask you to log on. So I'm logged in in another web browser. So I'm going to hit authorize app. Then it's going to load our stream. So when tweet chat comes up, you're going to see the stream we're working with below. Now my husband and I tweeted a couple things today into this tweet, just so you could see what it's going to look like. Okay. So down below you'll have your stream. Um, you will see tweets from me that will be the prompts that I am going to ask you to respond to. I'm going to show you a couple things on uh, tweet chat. So if you look up here, you can check and verify that you are actually using the correct hashtag. So on everyone's screen, this should say hashtag exc4020, and you should see your Twitter profile uh, picture beside that. So if you want to share a web link to a video or an article with the group, um, this has a really neat um, option to shorten URLs for you. So let's say I wanted to share this TED Talk. So this is a TED Talk we're actually going to watch in class on autism. So I'm going to come copy the link and go back to my tweet chat window. Apologize, it's being funny. Okay, I'm going to put my URL in. Okay, hit shorten and it's now shortened my URL. Now the purpose of this is then if you put a long URL on the Twitter, it uses up a lot of the space that you have to tweet. So this makes it shorter, you have more characters left. So I might say, check out this TED Talk on autism. Okay, so that's how you would share a URL. Now if you notice there's a new tweet, so the stream automatically updates. Now if you hit pause stream, stop so make sure that your start stream is on and as people tweet it will automatically update with the newest tweets now if you just have something you want to tweet you would just type it into the box um, if you don't have a URL and then hit tweet and it'll show up in your stream now if you want to reply to someone within the chat you can go to the right of the tweet okay so let's say I want to respond and I'm going to hit the reply it puts the person's username or handle in the top, and then I can type my tweet, okay? Which is what I did to send this tweet, responding to his excitement regarding the post. Now, let's say that you wanted to respond um, to the conversation that Trey and I are now having. You could hit reply, and if once you did that, then my username and Trey's username would both show up and you could join that conversation. So anytime you reply, whoever you're replying to or any of any individuals who are in the conversation, their usernames are also going to appear. Now, similar to um, replies, if you want to retweet something, 
you simply hit a retweet. It will again include both of the users in the tweet and then include their tweet. If you want to favorite something, come to the favorite button. Oh, this is a pop-up. That shouldn't happen every time. Uh, but you simply hit favorite and that is now favorited for future reference. Okay, so now that you understand tweet chat, I'm going to explain to you how our weekly chats are going to work. So, if you check your syllabus, there's a designated time each week that's indicated by the instructor as to when our tweet chat will take place. Um, as the instructor will tweet approximately five prompts for the class to respond to. So, when I am going to prompt, send you a prompt, I will begin the prompt by Q1 for question one. And I may say something like, uh, share your thoughts on this week's reading on characteristics of individuals with autism. So that would be the first prompt. Now, in order to help you find my prompts more easily, I will include a picture with those prompts. Okay? So here's the image that you're going to look for. So with my question, this image will show up and that will help you locate my prompts. You can imagine that if all of us are um, on here and we're tweeting back and forth, it's pretty easy for uh, the prompts to get lost in the stream. So in order to help you, I'm going to include that image. So look for that image if you can't find my prompt. So this is how I will prompt. Obviously, when I move to the second question, it'll say Q2. Right? So when you respond, I would like you to tweet A1 if you're responding to question one. Okay, you are going to just type your tweet. Remember, you only have 140 characters, and you hit tweet, and it will show up in response to my prompt. Now, as a reminder, if you're using Tweet Chat, which is the service, the tool I'm currently showing you, there's no need to put a hashtag at the end of your tweet. However, if you're using Twitter or if you're tweeting from your mobile device, you do have to include the hashtag. So if you're in Twitter, okay, and let's say you go home and you're going to tweet. Let's say you're, you, find, you find my prompt, you want to respond, you say A1, um, and you would type your prompt, whatever it might be, your response, and then you're going to have to include exe4020 in order for it to show up in the stream. Okay, so if, just keep that in mind. If you're not going to use Tweet Chat, if you're using Twitter, you have to type in the hashtag. So at the end of our designated chat time, um, I will conclude the chat by simply saying something like, thanks for participating, uh, we had a great time, something to indicate that the chat is now over. Um, now, I, I do understand that some of you haven't used Twitter before and there may be a learning curve, so uh, for your first one, if you start tweeting and for some reason it's not showing up or you can't find the, the prompts, just shoot me an email and we'll work through that. I, I obviously expect there to be some, some bumps along the road as we all learn how to use this together, but I think it's a great way for us to have kind of a live conversation about the topics that we're learning. So uh, I do uh, want to remind you that your um, you need to sign up for Twitter if you haven't already done so, and then make sure you email me your Twitter handle or username so that I have that. Once I get everyone's Twitter usernames, I'm going to add you guys to a list so that anytime you send out a tweet, um, I will see that tweet. That way, if the first week uh, when it comes to chat time, maybe someone forgets their hashtag, I can still find your tweet and then help give you guys some guidance on what you need to do in order to make sure that everyone is seeing them. So I hope this turns out to be a really great way for us to all engage together. Again, let me know if you have any questions.